Muscular strength. Muscular strength is designed as the maximum amount of force that a muscle can exert against some form of resistance in a single effort. Muscular strength is measured during the muscle contraction. The size of your muscle fibres and the ability of nerves to activate muscle fibres are related to muscular strength. When performing exercises which use muscular strength such as lunges, the muscle fibre being worked would be type 2B muscle fibres. Which method of training improves muscular strength? In order to improve muscular strength, you should undertake circuit training. Circuit training involves performing a series of exercises in a special order called a circuit. Each activity takes place at a station. As the component of fitness you are targeting is muscular strength, the stations would involve exercises specific to muscular strength, for example, push-ups, squats and lunges. Circuit training is always a very good method of training as the client will never get bored because they are always doing something different rather than doing loads of sets of the same thing, for example weight training. However, weight training is also very effective when used correctly. Using the FIT principle in muscular strength training. Frequency. Train at a minimum of three days and a maximum of five. You need to allow your muscles time to recover and grow. Intensity. You need to be working at a very high intensity, around the top end of the aerobic zone, possibly reaching the anaerobic zone, towards the end of your exercise. Time. Don't allow your muscles too much time to recover, about 5 to 10 seconds rest between each station, and 2 minutes between each set. Type. For this session we have decided to do circuit training, but you could also do weight training, as long as you make sure you do low reps at a high intensity. Adaptations after training muscular strength. Once a performer has finished their muscular strength training, they'll have all kinds of adaptations to their body, depending on how hard they worked and how many weeks or months they have been training for. A long-term adaptation is chronic hypertrophy. This means the increase in muscle size. Changes in strength evidenced in the first few weeks of resistance training are more associated with neural adaptations, which encompass the development of more efficient neural pathways along the route to the muscle. Long-term changes in strength are more likely attributable to hypertrophy of the muscle fibres or muscle group. The range, of, the range of increase of strength is quite variable to the individual and may range from 7% to 45%. It should be noted that strength results appear to be velocity specific. Players that may need muscular strength and why. Football players will need muscular strength. They will need this fitness component to barge their opponent off the ball or to avoid getting knocked down themselves and also to spring back onto their feet if their opponent is successful winning the ball.